Usually at IDEX, somebody brings a new vehicle for the first time, and IDEX 2019 is no exception. This year, a new vehicle has appeared on the horizon. This is an 8x8 vehicle called Walhish, which means, in fact, Wal Falcon. It's been developed over a two-year period by a consortium of engineers from South Africa and who are now in the Emirates. And it's a 32-ton vehicle, that is a gross vehicle weight. It's got powered steering on the front two wheels either side and also on the rear wheel. That is very important because it allows the vehicle greater maneuverability in a confined space. It's powered by a Scania engine mounted at the front on the right side, coded to a ZF transmission, and it's got a very, very high level of ballistic and mine protection, which has already gone through a series of trials. It's got run-flat inserts and a, and a central tyre inflation system. What that gives you is the ability to adjust the tyre over different types of terrain. So, if you're on the roads, you'll have one tyre pressure. If you're over sand, you would decrease the prior pressure to give you more traction. Unusually for a vehicle of this weight class, this particular vehicle is fully amphibious and is propelled in the water by two propellers at the rear. Armament is always optional and is often selected by the end user as government furnished equipment. You see this vehicle is fitted with a Ukrainian remote control turret armed with a 30mm dual feed cannon a 7.62 coax machine gun, and on the right side, a pod of two guided missiles that enables targets to be engaged beyond the range of the 30 mm cannon. In addition, it has got banks of 81 mm electrically operated smoke dischargers, which could in fact also be connected to, to a laser warning system. So far, two of these vehicles have been built and put through extensive trials purposes. And if you notice, the whole shape is a really quite a V and the reason of that is to give increased protection against mine so if the wheel goes over a mine the main blast is obviously upwards. The armour package can be tailored to meet the individual user's requirements and it normally has a crew of three consisting of commander, gunner and driver and eight dismounts. The eight dismounts are treated in the rear of the troop compartment and of course they are fitted with blast attenuating seats and is the normal. They can rapidly enter a field by a power operated door at the rear and the steps automatically fold down so they can get out pretty quickly. Another feature of this vehicle, of course, it's fitted with an air conditioning system and it's fitted with cameras to give you situational awareness through 360 degrees. So this really is one of the first vehicles of its type to be shown at IDEX.